So today I am going to be showing you a complete guide on how to use Bolt's application. Now Bolt currently is the number one traveling app you can find on your phone and it comes before even Uber application and then Yango. I am going to be opening up very quickly and then show you what you need to expect once you have opened up your application that is the Bolt application and from the start if you have not signed up you need to sign up using your phone number or your Facebook profile account. If you have got your phone number available, you can go ahead and then enter your phone number and then a code will be sent to your phone number which you need to enter in order to confirm your signing up or your registration details. Once that is done, you are going ahead to provide other details that is going to help you to complete your registration process with this particular Bolt application. Now I am going to enter my phone number and then receive a code which I will need to enter in order to continue using this particular application. Now a countdown begin and the number or the code will be sent to my phone number which I have provided and then I need to enter that particular code in order to continue my registration or signing up process. So once you have provided the code that has been sent to you successfully this will be what will pop up next and then you are going ahead to tap on to allow once. This means you are going to be making sure your location is enabled with both application because you are going to be using that in order to engage in a ride anytime you want to order a ride to any particular destination of yours. So for example, once you have come here, let me go quickly to tell you some of the things that you need to expect. You can edit your profile using the Facebook application. That is if you have signed up using your Facebook profile, your Facebook details will be available right here, but then you can go ahead and then tap on to edit profile in order to go ahead and then edit the profile the way you want it. We have the payment method right here where you can decide to let the payment be taken from your debit card or your credit card if you want. You can decide to pay by cash if you want as well. You can also decide to pay or deposit money straight into your boat account so that once you have ordered, you will be able to have the amount subtracted from the cash available right here in your account. Now moving on again, we are still available on the settings option. You have the choice to work with them right here by tapping on to work profile in order to set that particular profile right here. And then we have my trips which is going to show you all the trips that you have engaged in earlier on. So not like other apps where once your trip has ended, you will not be able to see the details of the card that you have used for your trip. But right here on the boat application, you can be able to have the details shown once you have been able to complete a ride. So for example, if I am going to any place in mind, you can tap on to right here and then you are going to be having the particular place or destination that you are going to search. So once you are searching for where exactly you want to go, number of places are going to come up, which are going to look like where exactly you are going to make sure you know where you are going to in order to select that if you have seen it. So currently this is where I want to go to and once the location has come, I am going to be tapping onto this particular place. So once you have been able to select exactly where you are going to, amount will be brought forth for you to go ahead and then select any amount that is currently favorable to you. And right here we have three types of ride available right here. We have the light which is currently busy and then we have the normal boat. We have comfort which is more or less a very comfortable ride and once you are sitting in you are going to feel that there's a big difference with the normal ride so you can go ahead and then tap on to select boat now you are going to be selecting this particular ride which is currently available to you and this is the amount stated here which you are going to be paying once you have got to your destination now i am going to be tapping on to confirm order and then wait for a couple of seconds where you are going to be allocated a particular driver that is coming to pick you up and this is the driver now once the driver is currently ready to come pick you up you are going to be seeing all the details right here available for the driver you can go ahead and then tap on to the driver and this is going to be showing you the number of trips this particular driver has completed so far the number plate of the driver and then the particular car that the driver is 
using to come pick you up you can tap right here in order to engage in a chat with the driver to let them know what exactly you are in order for them to come pick you up you can have internet call with them that is on the app or you can have an external call with them that is you are going to be picking their number right here and then calling them in order for them to come pick you up now this is basically the map showing you where the driver is and where exactly they are coming to come pick you up and one thing i must let you know is that some of the drivers will actually accept your ride even though they are completing a nearby journey so as you can see this particular driver is completing a nearby journey so if i am not interested i can scroll all the way down and then tap on to cancel this is going to automatically cancel the ride that i have ordered you can go ahead and then tap on to where you are going again and then number of drivers are going to come up again and they are going to be introduced to you the particular driver that is coming to pick you up and then you wait for a couple of seconds or minutes for that particular driver to come pick you up now within a couple of seconds you can see that there's been a change to a driver that means there are lots of drivers at exactly where i am currently and basically that is how it works so this is it now if you forgot anything in any of the ride before or after a ride or if you are cancelling a ride you can give reasons for your cancellation so right here i am going to be stating that the driver has not moved or has moved to a wrong direction and then i have the option to go ahead and then cancel now before if you cancel the duration that you have ordered before cancelling will be deducted from your next ride but this is currently cancelled and you will not be able to pay for any cancellation at all like i said we have details of other trips that you have completed right here so if you forgot anything in any ride at all or in any particular car you can come right here and then pick the details of that particular driver and then you are going to get them called or you are going to contact them for them to bring you what exactly you have misplaced or left in their car so basically that has been it for the fastest ride and then the cheapest of them all i believe both application is there to help you out thank you and please subscribe for more lessons like this in the coming days